So next principle, it's called unrelenting confidence. So you have to have the ability, again, if you're gonna achieve any level of success that's above normal, and the higher the level of success, the more you'll need this, you have to have the ability to have unrelenting, unwavering confidence. And that means that no matter what happens, you have to be able to project a feeling of confidence, of absolute certainty. One of the best uh, ways of, 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 of explaining that, that I've, I've heard and, and received from one of my mentors who I paid almost $30,000 to attend one of his seminars, his name is Dan Pena. Uh, he says, no matter what, I may be wrong, but I'm never in doubt. So no matter what, I might be wrong, but I'm never gonna doubt myself. And what does that mean, okay? Does that mean you're gonna act like an idiot and you're gonna never look back and actually see what you're doing and, and assess if you're doing the right things or not? Of course not. But what that means is while you're on the field, while you're playing the game, the best investment you can do is in your confidence, is making sure that you're acting with full faith that it's gonna work out, okay? It's not something that you can fake. You just have to honestly say, no matter what, I'm going to proceed as if there's a 100% chance that this is going to be successful. Again, you do have to sit down every day, every week, every month, every year, every quarter, and sit down and ask, okay, what did I do so far? How did it work? What worked? What didn't? There is time to assess. There is time to sit down, look at what you've done, and actually check it out. But while you're in the field, while you're playing the game, which is most of the time, that's 90% of the time, you have to be fully confident. Again, no matter what, I may be wrong, I may be doing the wrong thing, I'm going to commit to it 100%. I'm going to do it as if there's a 100% chance that it's going to work out. And again, we're going to tell you how I'm about to close a six-figure deal, $300,000 deal, okay? And I'm going to explain all that in a moment. So that's, you know, stay tuned. It's going to be really, really awesome. So exercise with unrelenting confidence. Make a list of everything that you've done until today uh, that uh, should not have worked out, uh, but still did. Basically, ask yourself, what did I survive in my life? What did I go through in my life and actually survive? And by the way, I'm writing here, primatica.com slash 10x. Okay, if you don't have a list, for confidence, if you do not have a list for how to, for things you're confident in, okay, things you went through, things you survived, that make you very confident in yourself, you need to have that list. It, it's time to start investing in yourself. It's time to take, some, to take some risk. Again, whether you're 20 years old or 50, if you do not have a list of shit that I went through, that I survived, despite the odds that I'm still here, I'm still kicking, if you don't have that list, how are you going to have confidence in yourself, you know? Because you've never been in a situation that really tested your ability to, to survive on the moment, okay? Just to make it clear, you know, when I do these lectures, I don't prepare ahead of time, okay? I spend maybe 45 minutes preparing. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about before. I trust my skills. Why is that? Because I've been in situations where I talk to 600 people at once without even preparing the content. So I know I'm able to improvise. I know I'm able to take charge if needed. It's an extremely, extremely important skill.